have crafted a body for this sick, disturbed man in order to free our boy. But King must be stopped. He will take all of our power, all of our knowledge, holy and unholy, to drive him back. Hey! We're trying to be cinematic here, you submental toad! I'm the mailman! I'm the mailman! Package for Mr. Katz! God damn it, doesn't anyone respect the art of film here? What is this now? To Katz, the savior of our shitty little town. Love, Uno. We've got to get him back. Giuseppe! You have the body, correct? See, and I hate him. Oh boy, oh yes. I can't wait to have someone fill me up. Will you fill me? He a horrible. Okay, when we get in there, Giuseppe, you hit him over the body, and while he's distracted, Father, you exercise the fuck out of him. Really give him the business. I'll give it to him good. Like Father O'Callaghan did to me when he- Yes, yes, we get it, and no one cares. It was a haunting summer for all of us. Now are we ready? No. Fantastic. Let's move! Oh, I'm scared. I need some big strong man to hold on to. <laughs> yeah! You like that, you little gummy bear? Uh, you know, it's kind of helping my back, actually. I've had some lower lumbar issues lately and- Shut up! And go to your corner! King, I... Don't look at me, little mole man! Please, just let me go, King. We will... I am not King! <laughs> not anymore. Oh my god, that's a bad black smoke, stinky house. Just not good all around, if you ask me. Quiet, Giuseppe. I want the bad man to fill me up good. Stuff me like a Christmas goose. Strange. I expected more of a demonic presence in this house, but the Lord, he is all around us. Father, what kind of religion do you even practice? Bring me the body. Just to throw it down the stairs like a sack of onions. Let's -a go. No, we have to go through with this for my boy. Our boy. What do you think's going on in there? Kids probably finger blasting them. Give them the old one, two, skip a loo. Hi there, neighbors. Just following up on some leads here. Uh, any of you notice anything strange happening around here lately? Anything a little off or out of the ordinary? Anything at all? A little weird, even. Well, right now our friend's over there exercising the spirit that possessed our neighbor. Yeah, not only is it an exorcism, but right now he's probably being a colon cowpoke, you know what I mean? Up to his elbows in him. I'll bet you he is. Hmm, that does sound a bit strange. And coming from such normal, trustworthy boys, it's probably worth a look. Thank you for your help, folks. Thank you, Sheriff. Yep, sure would be a bummer if they got raped. Oh, mamma mia. He look like one of those pie cases at a diner. What? He looks like a pie. Look, I'm trying to lighten the mood here, all right? I'm doing my best, given the circumstances. King, we have your body, you sick, sick man. Yes, your horrible request has been fulfilled. Before we give it over to you, where's Uno? Cats! <laughs> Not so fast, Taffy Tim! Show me the body, and I'll let him go! Fine, fine, whatever you want! Oh no! We're gonna get you out of here! So you're the bad boy I've been hearing so much about. Oh, I've been so bad, Mr. Body. Oh yeah? Well, I've got a lot of empty space here, you fat piece of shit. So why don't you fill me up with your naughty little ass? Oh, you want me to fill you up, huh? Now, Father, go! 
The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. That was your big plan? Get the old man to make me wet? <laughs> that may work for Hillary Clinton, but not for me, you fool! Oh, God, no. King, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be this person. I know what it's like to try to prove you're something you're not, but you can just be you. Let us help you be you. Let us help you. You, you want to help me? Burn in hell, you evil man. Yeah, King, we do. I have a feeling you're an all right guy under all that rage and physical abuse. Yeah, I bet you make a great queso dip. I bet you're a lot of fun at a barbecue or I don't know. And I bet you can open a beer bottle with your teeth or something. You just seem like a nice guy. I am. I am all those things. That's right. Now simmer the fuck down, King. Let the love in. Oh my god! What have I done? I thought I was possessed by the famous war hero and now film star Chris Kyle! But indeed, it was just my mental health that went awry and caused me to do bad things. I've been stalking and harassing you boys, thinking you was causing trouble in the community. But it was I who was disturbing the peace. It's all right, man. Just, just let it out. I went on a rampage across town. I killed all the little varmints in my cellar. That's right. Own those mistakes, King. I hunted for virgin children. Whoa, okay. Uh, Maybe not all your mistakes. And Greg. I killed poor, sweet, beautiful Greg. Aha! I knew it. Hey, Todd, what are you doing here? Got a tip from some normal boys that some vegetable stuff was going on over here. And we all know good and goddamn well that wasn't true. I heard the whole thing. Murder, fake possession, mental health. You're under arrest, King. You're right. And I accept my fate. I was so blinded by rage, content, and fear that I did horrible things. And for that, I must face the music the fat lady has sung. But I am ready. I am ready to let love in. Who fucking cares, you murderer? Maniac! Sweet Lord in heaven! Holy shit! Oh God! Yes! Just like that! Just stop! Help! I will not be bested by a pack of little Christian freaks in that fat fuck! My plan to take over the Middle East is on hold. I will smite down those who try to stop me. the wrong angel. Now God's gonna come sort you out good. What? What? God, you missed. C grab cats. 
Chris Kyle, ye hath failed in thy mission. You are my holiest angel, and you have been bested by mortals. No, please, Father. I can make it to the Middle East. Give me another chance. No more missions, Chris. Back to paradise with you, the nonstop bliss of heaven above. No! This is not the last you'll hear of me. I will come for you, Henry King. I will come for you, Middle East. And I will come for you, Cats and Uno! I will come for you! Wow, King. You really were possessed. I know. <laughs> Pretty weird, huh? I could have sworn I was just mentally unwell. Who would have thought I was a rational, sane human being the whole time? Right, guys? Cats, approach me. Young cats, you have bested my holiest of angels and have proven yourself adept and pure. For that, I bestow upon thee my greatest gift, the power of creation. You mean I will have godly power to create what I want to help the world? Not help, but to create your own world far away from this wretched slab of clay to create in thine image where you will rule as God. Come with me, and you will be whisked away to your new domain, never to see this world again. You mean I'll have to leave my family, never to return? You get the chance to be a god. No more inconveniences or problems. A fresh start. Don't worry about us, cats. You've done enough for all of us. Yes, go, please, Madame. Get him away from me. God, I've been trying to figure out how to solve every one of my problems with the easiest solution over and over again. Making life carelessly, never giving a single thought about how my actions affected others. Then I thought maybe if I solve others' problems, that would make me happy. I was trying to prove that I'm something to someone, to anyone, and it never gets me anywhere. The only thing that makes me happy is my family. And I can't be taken from that. You're kidding, right? That is so lame and cheesy. Yeah, well, maybe I am lame and cheesy. But in the immortal words of Vin Diesel as Dominic Toretto, family is all that matters. What? Fine, I guess. Wait! What am I talking about? Trading in my stupid suburban life to be a god? That sounds sick! God, can I, uh, I don't know, take back my decision? Uh, no. Oh, no, no. Eh, fine, worth a try. Family's cool too, I guess. Wait, hold on, Father! If you wouldn't mind, I, I'd like to right all of my wrongs. Bring back the vile rodents I killed for Chris Kyle's body. And bring back Greg. Poor, innocent Greg. I'm sure he misses his family. Surely, a nice older woman. And of course, you can't forget his two mentally retarded twin daughters, Bingo and Bongo. Selfless act after selfless act, I am gonna puke. Survey says, fine. Oh, 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 I miss you. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, why don't you work your way up my leg, Mother Teresa? My balls ain't gonna lick themselves. What? No, 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 no! Greg, <laughs> you're alive! Oh, your elderly wife and two Down Syndrome children would be so pleased to see you again! Oh, who cares about those fucking re- No, oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, King. I may have been wrong about you, King. You aren't the smelly, fat, mentally unwell weirdo we all thought you were. You're the smelly, fat, heroic weirdo we never expected. 
What do you say we put you back on the force, Henry King? Thank you, Todd, but no. I have a lot of soul searching to do after this, and I can't go back to my old ways. I need to work on myself. And the best way to do that is to take some time fixing this old house. Okay, then. Suit yourself. Oh, yeah, before I go, this is no longer holy ground. I must scorch it from the earth. Say what now? All right. This is all pretty kooky dooky, but I gotta go home now. Greg, you want me to take you home to the old lady in the simpletons? I guess. We should get going too, King. I understand. I'll be building a mud hut or something for the night. King, we're not just gonna leave you out here. Come on. You want me to come to your house? As much as I would love for you to play primitive technology out here in your driveway, I think it's best you come with us. Everyone, everyone, gather around. I'd like you to meet Henry King. He was possessed by the ghost of an angel sent down from God who wanted to destroy the Middle East or something. I don't know. I forget. So what, that's why you were acting so crazy? Sir, I'd like to shake your hand. It's nice to meet you finally. I've seen you through your shades when I would take pictures of you unexpectedly in your most intimate of moments. All right, then you're a creep. Yes, he is a creep, but he is also our friend. Friend? Friend. Hm. I like that. Who's ready for infomercial night? All right, well, I have a sword here, and I'm going to show you what, how to use it. So I'm going to take you out of the sheath and... Ha, 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 ha,